Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about platinum versus gold as an investment. So if you have been investing into precious metals for any time, you probably realize that other than gold and silver, platinum is also a potential investment that you can make, right? You can buy into platinum coins such as this. This is the platinum uh, maple and this is one of uh, UK's platinum coins. So the thing about platinum is that is this a good investment for us to get into or perhaps is investing in gold still a better option now the problem is that it really depends on how uh, you are playing both platinum and gold and in this video i really want to bring home the idea of how ideally perhaps you should see how platinum is in your investment portfolio versus gold all right so by now, you probably realize that platinum prices are more or less at historic lows compared to gold, right? There used to be a time in the past where the price of platinum was one to one with gold or even more expensive than gold. But right now, things have really changed. The price of platinum, more or less, it's almost a half that of gold. I mean, it's slightly above half. If I'm not wrong, gold is around $1,800 right now. Platinum probably is around $1,050. And the thing is that which of these metals is the better buy right now we have to go through quickly what platinum is so platinum is one of the precious metals groups and it's a metal which is much more uh denser than gold right if you can compare them side by side you'll quickly realize that platinum uh it's thinner than gold but both of them are one ounce they hold the same weight so the thing about platinum is that the platinum supply is much smaller than gold, right? So every year, around 170 tons of platinum comes into the market compared to 4,500 tons of gold, right? And it's interesting to note when it comes to investment, the whole world believes in gold, right? From central banks all the way uh, to grandmothers in India, to myself, people on the street, we all buy gold because we do recognize it as money and as a very reliable store of value right however when it comes to platinum only four percent of people invest into platinum right so that just means that it's not really globally seen as a store of value yet and most of its usage is actually done industrially right so platinum is an industrial metal with more than around 70 percent used and the majority of which right is in auto catalytic converters that means or uh, when there's a fossil fuel car, there's some platinum within uh, catalytic converters of the car itself. So that helps convert all the harmful gases such as carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, making things uh, much more uh, cleaner for the environment and for human health. And this is one reason that I want to hone into when it comes to platinum, right? So we all know that the Green New Deal is happening. We are all moving towards a solar future. We are all moving uh, towards uh, greener technologies and electric cars. And when, as we move towards that, right, we do have to understand that it is actually much more bullish for silver compared to platinum. That means there could be quite a bit of a effect when it comes to platinum down the road down 5 10 15 years where the price of platinum could actually drop compared to silver where the price of silver could rise because as i said we are moving more towards the electric future so it doesn't really make sense for the price of platinum to stay the same or even go higher when most of the cars but 40 percent or of its utility is going to go down right cars are moving away from fossil fuels it's moving more towards electric cars which means more silver will be utilized at the end of the day so at least for the next two to maybe 10 years silver will be a much better bet compared to platinum right and this brings us to the question so why do we even want to invest in platinum why do we even buy platinum coins why did i even bother to get this to platinum right so the thing about this is that platinum is a very very small market right i mean uh to put a very very bad analogy to it you could see it as the shiba inu of gold right a lot of 
if a lot of people start piling on to platinum because there's such a small supply compared to gold 000, uh, 170 tons versus 4500 tons and only four percent right now is an investment if a lot of people start investing to gold a lot of let's say funds or even some of the paper uh, money piles in platinum we could really see a bigger spike on platinum compared to gold and there's really a possible precedence of platinum reaching back to the one-to-one -one ratio together with gold right now a lot of focus is placed into gold when it comes to the precious metal central banks are buying it a lot of people are comparing gold right now to bitcoin and that's one main reason why a lot of focus is not placed on platinum and you can really see that the price of platinum has been dropping uh for the last uh, I, I guess two three five even ten years if i'm not wrong the price of platinum right now is around a five or ten year low and i like this kind of trends where people are not really paying much attention to it that means uh, right now perhaps you are at a stealth phase of investment for platinum and the price of platinum could really see a momentum move towards it right so it's not really based on a fundamental pace for the next two to ten years i don't really uh, see much fundamental move or fundamental reasons why people should buy platinum instead of buying gold gold is still the more fundamentally superior bet but when it comes to price movement i would say the potential for platinum is actually better than gold when it comes to the short term and let's look down let's say 10 to 20 years down the road right now there's a, quite a bit of a technology going on on the rise of hydrogen fuel cells that's basically using uh, hydrogen as a source of fuel to power cars and this is the next evolution after electric vehicles believe it or not and quite a few industries are saying that hydrogen fuel cell cars are going to overtake electric cars that means there could come a point in time that could reach an inflection point that silver the utilization rate of silver will drop compared to platinum right however that's going to be quite far between and there's also one important aspect of platinum that i do really need to touch on which you could see as quite a big uh, plus or negative right so platinum unlike gold there are only mainly two countries which account for 80 to 90 percent of its supply right and that's south africa and that's russia and if you know demand and supply right that basically means that if anything happens to the supply in these two countries we could really see the price of platinum spike up like recently i i think in maybe it was 2012 2015 or around there there was a quite a bit of a mining problem an issue when it comes to the mines in south africa and because of that they saw the price of platinum really fly up 50 to 60 percent within a couple of months so that really shows the volatility of platinum compared to gold and when it comes to premiums right um platinum premiums right now at least for this one ounce coin it's anywhere from seven to twelve percent so that makes it quite a bit more expensive compared to gold so for this uh one ounce gold kogran the premium if i'm not wrong is around four to six percent so you could easily see it as double the premium that means the moment you buy a platinum coin you're actually losing quite a bit and it's very important not to think of platinum as money or as a reliable store of value compared to gold or even silver right i mean if you want to bring in silver into the conversation it's going to be quite um apparent that even from history itself hundreds to thousands of years ago mankind has seen gold and silver more as a store of value and more of money compared to planet and, and this weight of historic argument really really matters right so if you really do want to buy into platinum you need to understand that it's going to be more of a speculation or investment that eventually you want to cash it in let's say the price of platinum rises uh by two times three times i do not know maybe all the russian mines close down or maybe there's a widespread riot in south africa i do not know i can't foresee the future but if that happens the first thing i will do is to cash in my platinum sell it away take the money whether i'm going to put it into stocks gold crypto silver doesn't matter but i will not be holding platinum for the long term 
I see Platinum as more of a speculative bet, something physical that's speculative at the same time, it is still relatively easy to liquidate when the time comes and I will be liquidating this at the end of the day, make no mistake about it, I am not hoarding Platinum in any meaningful quantities and even if I were to invest uh, or put more money into it, I don't see myself going beyond uh, 6, 7 or 8 coins, right? Maximum I think I'll go is just 10 1 ounce coins. So the majority of my money when it comes to precious metals, my precious metals allocation is still around uh, 75% gold, maybe 23% silver, maybe 2% platinum, more or less, right? Because at the end of the day, right, I believe you're moving more and more towards a potential currency reset. In the sense that there's so much money washing in the systems, you can see all the kinds of uh, uh, asset classes getting pushed up in prices, right? Everything from property to the S&P 500 all the way to the crazy coins uh, such as uh, Shiba Inu. Yeah, you know, there's even a Squid Game coin right now. Jeez. And there's and, and even Bitcoin is back to its all-time highs. I mean, it exceeded its all-time highs of $60,000. So I don't really uh, see Platinum playing any meaningful role in this reset, right? If the reset happens, you're going to have to pack uh, the currencies to something and the only asset right now uh, the tier 1 asset right now that central banks hold that a lot of people still trust it is going to be firstly gold right gold is still the master monetary metal out there silver to a much lesser extent and if you want to bring in platinum into the conversation I don't even think platinum uh, has any position when it comes back to a monetary reset right yeah it is greater than it is uh, denser than gold, it's tougher than gold, it's better to be used as jewellery but when it comes of money, there's no historical weight. So I really won't really want to uh, put much stock into platinum when it comes to uh, store of value, preserving your wealth but I believe that it's a fantastic speculative asset. It's up to you whether you want to uh, play it or not, right? If uh, you find that platinum is going to be too volatile for you, you will just stick to gold and silver, right? And in my own opinion, uh, let's say I was starting from scratch and I don't have any of these three metals right now, I wouldn't even be thinking about platinum. Most of my focus will be on gold and only gold once I reach a certain position, then I'll move on to silver. After that, then perhaps I'll take a look at platinum. But if you're considering uh, really investing into platinum, I don't recommend it um, from scratch. But if you're willing to uh, gamble a bit, if you want to have a bit of a speculative position in the precious metals uh, of all the other precious metals other than gold and silver, I would say uh, platinum is one of the most accessible and affordable speculative bets that you can make right now. So let me know what you think about platinum compared to gold. Are you uh, more pro gold or do you believe that platinum one day somehow out there uh, will become uh, another alternative monetary asset compared to gold? Let me know in the comments below and if you like this video, remember to uh, drop this video a like, subscribe to the channel guys, really helps me grow and thanks for watching.